Hey guys, this is Alex and my Freedom Smokes and we're gonna go ahead and run you through a little startup. Uh, we're gonna talk about all the different kind of batteries we do have to offer on our website, maybe to even find one that really fits your needs and wants. Now the first ones we're gonna talk about are your traditional old style 510 batteries. Uh, these here were some of the very first few that really come on the market. Uh, a lot of people still prefer using them because of their size. I don't recommend them quite as much because they're not as versatile, uh, but it still works out great if you're looking for something small to marry, uh, keep in your pocket, keep in your purse, something like that. Uh, they do come in two different styles. Uh, you've got your automatic, which means when you start drawing on it, it's gonna start producing vapor, and your manual where you have to press the button and the light comes on at the bottom for you to produce your vapor, much like the rest of the batteries we're gonna be showing. The only kind of tanks that'll work on these are 510 threaded tanks. 510 threaded tanks are the ones that have the little positive end right here that screws in to the small end. And at that point, you'd be ready to go. Next, we're gonna talk about your regular Ego style batteries. Now with these, you do get the same versatility uh, that you're gonna get with your variable voltage and pass-through batteries, uh, but this is just going to be a bit more standard. Uh, the threading on the inside is the 510 threading, like the batteries you saw here, but on the outside you've got your Ego threading, which means you can take something like the Aspire ETS and put on this battery. They do come in a few different sizes. Uh, just right here I've got the 650 and the 1000. Uh, nine times out of 10, these are gonna have little lights on the button showing you how much charge you've got. Uh, they're gonna vary depending on the battery, uh, but usually it's gonna be a clean uh, white button for a full charge, and then it's gonna go down to a blue when you're at about 20%. Again, this can vary depending on your battery, so if you have questions about that, feel free to send me an email or look at the product description on the page. It more than likely is gonna lift, list it on there too. Next, we're gonna talk about the pass-through battery. Uh, with your other standard Ego batteries, uh, you do charge it by screwing on your charger to the 510 threaded end on your battery. But with the pass-through battery, it works out really cool because all you have to do, you don't even have to remove your tank, you take the bottom part here and unscrew it. At that point, you've got an additional charging port right there at the bottom for you to plug in and you can put it through to a wall adapter, your cigarette uh, adapter in your car, or your computer. That way it can charge while you're still vaping. The same kind of uh, benefits to this one are like what you have on your other standard Ego batteries. Uh, it isn't variable voltage. You do have a little indicator on your light, and it's just honestly a neat little upgrade in case you're just needing to make sure your battery's charged before you head out. Now we're gonna talk about your variable voltage batteries. Uh, there's, they come in many different shapes, sizes, and styles, uh, but I chose the Vision Spinner 2 for this demonstration. The main thing about variable voltage is the higher the voltage you go, the stronger and warmer your vape is going to be. Uh, the lowest setting on this is a 3.3, which is going to be about your standard, uh, like your regular Ego style batteries, but you can bump it up for a stronger and warmer vape. Sometimes you can even get a better flavor out of your e-liquid from doing this. Uh, just make sure not to have it too high with too low of a resistance on your replacement head because you do run the risk of drying it out too quick and not making your coils last as long as they should. This does go all the way up to a 4.8 volt, which is going to be about the highest a regular variable voltage battery can do. All right, now we're going to talk about mechanical mods. Uh, that's gonna be like the nemesis right here. Now, the big thing about this is it is completely different from any of these you see here. For this kind of style mod, you're gonna need an internal battery, whether that be an 18350, an 18500, or an 18650. Uh, there are even larger ones that take a 26650s. Uh, we're not gonna worry about getting into that right now. Main reason for that being that it's exactly like this, just much larger. Let's say it's actually about that big around. For these, you have no variable voltages, you have no variable wattages. You simply unscrew the bottom, Insert your battery and screw it back in. Now these do come in many, many different styles. Uh, you can really find the one that best suits your needs. Uh, they come in copper, stainless steel, brass, black coating, different colors. I mean, the 
possibilities are endless. Honestly though, I only recommend these for the higher up vapors, the ones that have been doing it for a while. That way you are gonna do it safely and you've got a good knowledge about Ohm's Law and battery safety. Because if you're not careful, you do run the risk of damaging yourself and your property. So we do not recommend these for people starting off in the vaping world. Now we're gonna talk about your digital mods. These are gonna be a little safer because they are regulated. You, and a lot of times you have a variable voltage and wattage setting on this. Uh, the difference between the two is very simple. Your wattage reads your atomizer and pushes it to just the point you need without overpowering it and killing it off too fast. Uh, it it, the one thing the wattage really does is read the ohm. So I like variable wattage the best. These come in different styles also, like the MVP. Uh, this is the Tesla digital mod, where you do need an internal 18650 battery. Something like the MVP though, there's no need for that. There's already a battery included in it. And again, also depending on the style mod you have, you can change your settings. You can find that information on our website under the product description. If you still have any additional questions, you can always give me a call or leave a voicemail or an email. We'll promise we'll get back to you. Lastly but not least, we're going to talk about the box mod. The box mod is really for the veteran vapor or the hobbyist. With this, it does take two internal 18650 batteries. Uh, something like the DNA 30 may only take one, but the God mod actually takes three. There's a lot of battery safety that needs to be known about these kind of mods. You need to marry your batteries, meaning you need to buy all of them at the same time. They all need to go on the charger at the same time and only be used with this device because if one gets drained a little too much or gets overused, then you are compromising your mod and your safety. Again, these are really only recommended for the veterans or the hobbyists that know exactly what they're doing and know about Ohm's Law and battery safety just to make sure you can keep yourself safe. But the really cool thing about it is once you do know about this stuff, you can do some really cool stuff like this. You'll want to get to this point. I know you do. So make sure and do your research before deciding to get something like this, just so you can be safe. Now, we tried our best to make sure and cover all our bases here, uh, but I'm sure we missed something. We missed something along the lines, but that's perfectly fine. If you do have any questions about stuff or we just didn't mention something, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call or leave a comment below and we'll do our best to answer your questions. Till next time.